Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning. Welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, January the 21st on 2021. Pleasure to have you. I've got uh, uh, Linda Godwin with us. It's first time on Radio Friends. And Linda is a member of the Columbia Climate Plan Action Committee. Is that, is that the correct title? Yeah, um, it's the Columbia Climate and Energy Commission. Okay, tell us a little bit about this organization. Because um, we're one of many commissions here in the city that you know coordinates with the city government process. And this one was reformulated um, probably about a year ago from an earlier version of this committee specifically to work with the city through the Office of Sustainability. That's with Barbara Colum- Buffalo. That's with Barbara Buffalo. And she's our liaison, comes to all the commission meeting and, and is, you know, a key part of that. And and we're there. Um, our purpose is to work with the city on the Columbia's Climate Adapt, uh, Action and Adaptation Plan, which was actually passed by the city council in, I think it was June of 2019. So pretty soon we'll be coming up on a two-year anniversary. So w- what, what are you approved. trying to accomplish with this? Um, well, there's the plan itself, which is try is is here to um, make sure Columbia can be um, robust against the changes in climate that are coming, and also that we have goals to reduce our carbon footprint. For example, and, and this spreads out over many areas that are going to have responsibility for doing this. But the big picture is to reduce our uh, greenhouse gases by eighty percent by twenty fifty. By when? Twenty fifty, which sounds a little futuristic, but you know, it's not no. really. You know, you know, it'll really. be here before you realize right. it. Right. It'll be here. And the older you I get, the more this comes around like this. So, exactly. Yeah. Now, you, you, yeah. you and I may not be around in twenty fifty. Maybe we will. Maybe it's we will. possible. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But you're wanting to reduce mm-hmm. the the footprint by 80 percent yeah and that's actually in line with a lot of global goals and in other cities in in this country that have similar goals i mean our mayor is has signed an agreement um a few years ago with many different communities pledging a commitment to do the best we can to reach now, that kind you of you mentioned goal. something at the beginning of this interview that you want to prepare columbia for things that are going to happen with climate change? What's coming? What do you see happening with climate change? Um, you know, specifically for the Midwest, and it's, it's not going to be the same around the whole globe, but, but I think we're going to see warmer temperatures, heavier rains, more flooding. Um, you know, everybody's going to have energy challenges. So as a community, you know, we worry about our um, our whole water supply, our drainage systems, our electrical grid. So these are things that can be addressed to make sure we're robust, you know, as much as possible. At the same time, you know, trying to do our part in, in curbing the emission of greenhouse gases. Do you think, in, in your work with this commission, do you feel that most people have a grasp of what climate change is going to mean for all of us? Or do you think... Uh, a lot of folks are just saying, well, that's that's in the future. I don't have to worry about it. Oh, you know, and when you're, and I get that. I think that is a common feeling. And when we're all dealing, and this has been a tough year, we're dealing with so many things, 2020 was. I mean, it's kind of hard to think about all of these other things coming. You know, if it's not next week, if I can get through next week, do I really have to worry about the next few years? But we really do, and we all carry about, we all care about what our children are going to be living with. And so I think we're all interested if we really understand it and take the time to think about it and things that are going to happen even after we're gone. But a lot of these things are still going to happen in my lifetime, but they will really impact my children. And so I think you, we can you all feel, care. You feel with climate change, we're going to see warmer warmer conditions in central Missouri, in, in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. You feel we're going to see heavier rainfall? 
You know, that is the prediction, and a website I would recommend for people is uh, nasa.climate.gov, which is also another reputable place to go read about. Now, what, what about droughts? Doing. Now, some, some, some yeah. information I read where they say we, we <clears throat> could be experiencing droughts, and then others say we could have a, a heavier than normal rainfall. Yeah, and actually, so more extreme. You know, it's really what you're talking about, and that's kind of, and that will also be the trend. So some areas are going to cope with the opposite, which is the difference between climate and weather. I mean, in a in a in a single year, our climate can change just due to other factors. We may have a wetter year or a drier year or a heavier snowfall, which is all natural. And that's weather, yeah. But right. climate overall is talking about how the whole planet gets readjusted due to rising temperatures, and that and makes some places more extreme than others. Exactly. We can all make a difference, even if it's a small difference, by simply adjusting some of the things that we do on a daily basis. That's right. And one of the things um, this commission that I'm on has a responsibility for, and there's a communications working group or team that I'm on, and our goal is to better educate the public about what they can do and, uh, and add to the efforts of the Office of Sustainability, which already puts a lot of information out there. As a matter of fact, I would highly recommend you follow uh, Como or Columbia's Office of Sustainability on Facebook and Twitter, and they so put out good what, ideas. What, what are some of the, the, the things that we can do? Um, you know, right now in the colder weather, an easy thing to do is to lower the thermostat. That's been one of my personal goals, you know, to, to just adjust that. You, lose, you use less energy, you put less that affects the amount of greenhouse gases. This is a small effect, but if you mm -hmm. multiply it by a whole community, it's a lot, or a whole country, you know, or a whole planet. Right. Um, we all consume a little bit too much, so buy less, reuse, repair, recycle. There's a lot of R words uh, in there. And think about walking and biking, particularly if you live close to the city center we can all try to drive less. As a matter of fact, interestingly— and turn, off, turn off the light bulbs when you're not in the room. Yeah, and, and make sure you put in the lower energy you know, light bulbs. That makes a huge difference. And, you know, in addition to climate change, we all care when we save some money. And Exactly. And I'm someone who just put on solar panels this year, so I got very anal for a while, you know, about watching my electricity usage because you just want to see those numbers. Yeah, well, I changed all—years ago, I changed all of my uh, lights in the house, every single one of them. Uh, to the little squiggly ones, the fl little yeah. squig. But then I replaced those with the LEDs, which I like a lot better. And the, I, I noticed immediately a change in the electric bill. G it, going it happens, down. yeah. And so you people, you know, even if it seems like some of these effects are not going to affect you personally very soon, we all care about the pocketbook, right? right? And so there's nothing wrong with saving money at the same time. No, and you can weatherize your house by putting in more insulation, and that does make a difference. Yes. It, it makes a big difference. If you want more information on this, you can go to comoclimateaction.org. That's a website to go to. Can people, do you ever have Zoom meetings where people can look in? Well, the um, our monthly commission meetings are open always to the public. That's been a little more challenging this year. We've had, okay. I mean, in 2020, but yes. Okay. Go to comoclimateaction.org for more information. Uh, Linda, thank you so much for coming by and continued success with your work. Thank We're you. out of time. See you next time. Bye-bye.